Hello there everyone! Before I get started today, I just wanted to show you what came in the mail today. I'm so excited about it. It just looks like a gift to myself, which it pretty much is. So let's turn and have a look at this. Like, it's just a beautiful gift box, even though it's just a cardboard box. Uh, with my orders in that I've paid for, it just feels like a present. And I've acci I accidentally ordered two the same colour, but lucky it's my favourite colour, which is permanent red violet light. Love that colour. <laughs> lucky. <laughs> but I got them like for a really good price here in Australia, like 25 bucks for this size is a good price. So that is $250 worth, isn't it? 25 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10. Yep. $250 present to myself. No wonder I'm so happy. All right. But today's painting. Let's get over here. I'm doing a triptych for a friend. Well, one of my nurses actually at dialysis. Look at my new lowly veffy mat here. Don't want to get it dirty, so I've put the puppy pads down on top of it. Isn't that ridiculous? You buy that so that you don't get your table dirty and it collects the drips and you peel them off and make necklaces. But I don't want to get it dirty, so I'll put something down over it. Because they're so hard to wash. Um, if anyone knows how to wash them and they've got a really good tip, let me know. The other thing I can't wash to save my life is the cup look at that how do you get to the bottom nightmare and then you end up with lumpy paint the next time you use it anyway back over to my triptych that i'm doing for one of my nurses it is three uh 30 by 30 centimeters and the one that she originally liked is this one so she basically she's bought this one whether I do the triptych, you know, or not, this is a definite sale. 40 bucks, thin edge. I don't even um, take the backs because I, I just like it looking like it's, you know, from an original artist. Otherwise, it could be a print. So, yeah, so that's. Um, what I did and I don't know how to recreate it <laughs> so I said to her I can't there's no way I can do too similar to that because she wants to have three above her bed so she said oh, I'll just do two and I'll put them on the outside and I was like nah that's not really going to work either I'll do three new ones and the, the three new ones will be similar to each other and they'll be similar colours to the old one, but they won't be the same style. So she can pick what she wants, pick and choose. And this is the practice one I did. Oh, still a bit wet, don't touch. Um, let me turn it around to get this one. And now this was just to get the colours. And I think I've done a pretty good job getting the colours. Um, I won't go get the other one. Back again, it's too far now. So the colours for that are Araldo Di Palo Metallic Purple Sequin Beautiful, beautiful metallic purple Right? Not an expensive paint Ten dollars. Actually, I got them on sale for six ninety nine. Uh, can I show the size of it? This size here. Five hundred mil. Pretty good for six ninety nine. And it's very thick, so it it thins down a lot with Floetrol, which makes it even cheaper. And this is a different brand. This is Holcroft. 
Um, th this is another Australian brand. It's a little bit, well, I don't know if that's Australian. It doesn't sound Australian, but it's for sale here in Australia. <laughs> um, Holcroft, and this one's called Metallic Penny Loafer. And yes, it's a beautiful, deep bronze. Look at that. Very nice. And then we've got from Cadence a pink sunset. Now look at this. This is a very interesting color. It's sort of color change from pink to purple to silver to dark purple. Uh, where's a little bottle for that? Mm, it's one of these bottles. Cadence but it's a different color to that so that's a little bottle very expensive ten dollars for that tiny bottle but once I bought one once I bought one I just couldn't resist like they're fantastic so you know this painting is probably costing me an average amount in paints because I've got a couple of cheapies and a few dear ones so yeah it's working out about average a couple of Amsterdam paints we've got Amsterdam um, Payne's grey here we've got Amsterdam Kaput Mortem Violet one of my faves we've got Amsterdam oh no this one's not Amsterdam this is Liquitex Basics Brilliant Purple and then we've got 24k gold by deco art and then just to use um as a flow extender i've got montmartre light purple do i yeah i might need a flow extender maybe straight pour i'm gonna do three cups I'm going to layer three cups and I'm going to layer them the same. I mean, they're not going to be layered so much. They're going to be dirty cups, but I'm going to do the same amount of paint in each one. Who knows how they're going to turn out. Um, I've got three more canvases. <laughs> so if it's a complete fail, I can either scrape, start again, or I can pour new cups and pour a new cup on each, or I can just scrap it all together and um, use the three new canvases. All right. You are for eight minutes in already. <laughs> Bye. Okay, here we go. Three cups and I'm going to layer them. I'm going to start with this um, beautiful metallic purple. Just a little bit in each. Oh, I start with gold. Oh, a little bit of gold in gold. No, I don't want too much gold because I had that problem last time. Doesn't matter if I spill it over the edge because I haven't taken the plastic off yet. <laughs> Cheeky me. I know how to do things when I'm messy. Oh
fake to you now I wanna wake up with you in the morning Say what you 